probably just have to make it launch like a lot farther. How would we make it launch further? Why? It's going like, it's like scooping it straight down. I feel like this holder might not be the best option. We need something a little bit, where was this, an armor? Maybe like a half pipe would be better? Let's see if this works better. Oh, oh hell yeah, works better. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm playing a new game, Besiege. I actually played just a few levels of this and I absolutely loved it. My first notion was I have to stream this game because this is really fun and I really think that you guys, uh, the people who watch me play PvZ Heroes and stuff, uh, would really enjoy watching me play this game. Um, I actually, this is on the Xbox Game Pass, so I'm sort of playing this for free, which is awesome. Uh, Love the Xbox Game Pass because I'm super Jewish. Uh, let's get right into the levels. I'm going to actually start from the beginning. Again, I've played just a few levels. I'll kind of just, you know, the game shows you a little bit how to... Um, it kind of just progresses. There's actually a little tutorial, which we, you won't see. You'll just see me sort of um, completing these levels. But then we're going to get into some uh, more advanced stuff that I have not done before. It's just going to be the first few levels again that are a repeat. Now... The goal of this game is to build some big death war machine that's going to destroy the objective. So the first level, it's just a little cottage, uh, and this should be pretty easy. Um, we are, this is sort of the, uh, this block is the base of the um, machine we're going to build. So we're just going to build a little machine here. The tutorial actually has one built for you, but we're just doing it from scratch. You know what I'm saying? How do we do this? No, yeah, there. Uh, so we're able to just build this machine. We're going to put wheels on it in just a second. Uh, that should attach. There we go. Put some of these little bricks in between. I like building it really solid, um, just because so it doesn't take damage and when it's ramming into things and eventually there's going to be enemies and really weird sort of objectives things that shoot at you and uh, we'll be getting into those in just a second but here's the basics i'm just going to build a u i'm going to build some basic wheels which you have all these options you have like a million things to choose from including weapons we don't even need weapons yet just build some basic wheels on here these are motorized uh and then you press play and you're able to control the vehicle. Let's go smash this house. Got it. Hell yeah. Fry, did you ever play Spore? This makes me think of Spore a bit in the way you Spore played never the played machines. Spore, but I'd be down. I'm down to play all the games. All right, next zone. It's that easy, but now it's going to become a little more challenging. This one actually has... If we use the same machine on this lighthouse that's built on a hill... You'll see what happens here. It does not... Oh, it does! It's able to climb! Oh, the first time I actually played this, I needed to build an extension on the... Okay, next zone! That was easy. Alright, now... We're supposed to kill these carts. Oh, they made these, these levels, these first levels, easy. It's about to get harder. Alright, now what we have to do is to reach this uh, goal. And this machine is certainly not going to be enough since there's actually a minefield. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> so we're clearly... Maybe our thing that's on fire? No, we can't make it. All right, so what we're going to have to do is add some steering to this machine. So we are going to get rid of that. Uh, we are going to just build this a little bit differently here. We're going to put smaller wood in here, and we are going to put some steering hinges that allow us to steer. Where are you, steering hinge? Is this it? Is this it? Wait, now it's here. Here it is. These are the ones you can control with your arrow keys, which is awesome. There you go. Uh, we'll just control the front two wheels for now. And we're off. So now we can steer. Uh, yeah, they make you run over the sheep. <laughs> because this game likes doing that. 
They make you kill innocent animals and civilians all the time. Next zone! Next zone! Yes, you can add projectiles, and we're going to see that here. Uh, okay, so this is the first really cool level. You're actually going to be trying to get through this brick wall. There's archers on the wall, as you can see. Um, and then you're trying to destroy the two houses behind it. So if you just try to go into this level by steering, uh, first of all, there's a big mine there, so you're not going <laughs> to... Well, that's one way of completing a level. No, it completely rips you apart. I don't think we can drive around this either. Maybe you can? All right, it looks like one way of completing the level is driving around it, but we're going to do it the cool way. Um, and the cool way, of course, is adding a cannon. <laughs> uh, so we'll just add the basic cannon here, put this on top. Uh, it looks like it should, you know, the cannon has some recoil, but it looks like it's built pretty solidly. So hopefully this won't completely destroy our stuff. And fire away, boys! Now we're out of the blast range. And we're able to just stroll through here. la di da di da without getting shot. Going on, oh, if we don't get, oh no, we're actually dying in a fire. <laughs> okay, complete fail. What you're really supposed to do is fire. Wait till the fire stops burning and then drive through. That would be a little bit, a little bit smarter. A little bit smarter. Okay, here we go. Yep, the poor archers, they look more like a charcoal than archers, but you know. Just a, just a, just the cost of doing business. Uh, I hope we're going to be able to get up this. It looked like our machine was able to climb hills before, so hopefully we can get up here. See, this is the pro... Oh, okay, we made it. Nailed it. Next zone. All right. This level, the, you're not supposed to destroy any buildings. You have to kill... You have to kill 70% of these troops, and they're going to be attacking the whole time. Let me show you what this is going to look like first. Now, the cannon only has one shot. So that's not really going to be a solution. Uh, I guess we can run these guys over. But the problem is, is that you have, they're all attacking your vehicle and hacking it apart. You also have these archers over here that are shooting you. So maybe we'll go for the archers first. Hello. Thank you, Card Shark, for seven months. Thank you. And they've actually broken our vehicle apart. We're going to have to add some actual weapons and stuff to the vehicle. In order to be able to complete this level. So let's let's go back to the drawing board. The cannon's not going to be super useful. But we should have some things that are going to be. Hell yeah. Alright. Oops, I accidentally destroyed that. Um, we're going to add a little bit more beefiness to this vehicle. Just to reinforce it since we're taking a lot of damage in this level. Oh, and let's add some more weapons. So, we have drills. <laughs> we have crossbows. It's going to be hard to use a crossbow to kill all these little guys. We have a flamethrower, but it only lasts for 10 seconds. Uh, I think we're just going to use some blades and spikes. So let's see how these spikes do. I've actually never used the spikes before. Let's just add some spikes to our... To our thing. There's also armor you can add here. Let me add a little bit more beef. Can I put another block here? No, I can't. It's going to get in the way of the wheels. Um, all right. So we're going to add some armor to the vehicle here as well. There's some armor. Uh, yeah, I can't add it there. Uh, not there. We can add armor here, though. And I think we can add a lot of armor plates just all over the top of this just to make it... Try to try to make this not completely die. Heck yeah. We are protected! Okay. <laughs> this should be a pretty good war tank to be able to ram these guys. Let's see if it works. Here we go. First, let's go after the archers. <laughs> the spikes look like they're getting it done. Okay, part of our vehicle fell off. We actually lost a wheel. We're taking a lot of damage here. Um, there is a mine. We can try to run over the mine and, and set everyone on fire. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, one of our wheels are still attached. Let's see if the fire ensues to be able to kill. It looks like they actually stopped running around. Okay, we're going to need a little bit more than that. Here, let's try again, but not go for the archers right away. We'll try to go for these, uh, for these boys over here first. Alright, that's pretty good. We're really just taking too much damage. They're hacking off that front right 
wheel really fast, so we might need some some longer blades or something, or, or to reinforce this somehow. Uh, that was cool. We are on fire. Let's see if these these troops on fire can equal 70%. Yep, they did. So it was a matter of running some of them over and running over one of the mines. And um, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're the good guys, okay? We're definitely the good guys in this game. And all right, so the next one, this is called Old Mining Site. So we're supposed to steal these two iron ore and deliver them here. Um, let's see what happens if we use our little death machine. Uh, can we just... Why is this thing... This is just falling off by itself, which is really weird. We have to fix this machine. What? What is the structural problem with this front right wheel? Give me a second. Let's just open this up. What is the problem with this wheel? Very confused. Why is it falling off? Why is it falling off, guys? Here, let's build... Let's rebuild it like this. We'll put a double block here. Another one here. So it's actually sticking out. Maybe that's better. Maybe the armor plating is messing it up for some reason. Alright, let's see if this is good. And we're trying to, again, deliver the iron ore. Why? This thing is just falling apart, though. What is wrong with this? <laughs> is there something wrong here? Let's see what happens when we... Maybe they're running into the spikes? I don't really understand why that's happening. Uh, let's get rid of the iron plating and see if that helps. Is it better now? Nope. Let's see why this is falling off here. Uh, well, it seems to be fine. Not really sure why our vehicle is falling apart. Maybe the spikes are the problem? It seems like it's breaking when it hits the ground. Like, look at this. It's breaking. The, you know what? It's probably just too heavy from all this armor. So let's get rid of the armor and see if it, since it's less heavy now, if that's going to be good. Oh, see, now it doesn't break. Okay, the armor was the problem. Who knew armor was breaking my vehicle? It doesn't look like it's falling apart yet. So let's see if we can maneuver these over here. Uh, my spike and my wheel fell off. La -de -da. Get over there, Iron Ore. So sit. Now, this one we're not going to be able to get because we are not tall enough. <laughs> no, we don't reach. Okay, back to the drawing board. Let's get rid of all these spikes. These are probably just... We don't... Come on, we're a construction vehicle now. We don't need this garbage. All right, so this is the level. Let's build a little bit of a of a mechanism here to be able to get up there. Um... There is a mechanical part, like a, uh, where's the piston? Let's use the piston. And on the piston, we will attach a, a, let's see what we got. There's a plow. Maybe we can use the plow to pick this up. Is there something that can really scoop? I want like a half pipe holder. Okay, this looks cool. I will hold you. There's actually a grabber tool. Where's the grabber? Hold on. Here it is. Grabs anything it touches. Okay, that's awesome. We will grab something. And, okay, so this is going to be activated by V. And the piston is going to be activated by H. So H is going to make the piston. <laughs> Hell yeah. And V is going to be the grabber. So let's see if we can grab this now. Go piston. Go grabber. Did it work? Oh. It worked! Oh wait! We don't have traction! Hold on. Piston! Oh, now we have traction. Oh my gosh, it worked. Uh, <laughs> we're not on balance, but we made it, boys! 
So we can get rid of that. Heck yeah. Can we grab this with the grabber? The grabber is cool. I like the grabber. The grab. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> so much for the piston strat. Uh, we'll just go around here and push it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this vehicle's not falling apart anymore. Love to see it. Nailed it. Yeah, you could probably counterbalance that so it's not going to, it, so it won't fall. You could probably put a lot of heavy stuff. All right. Um, this level is, I think this thing just shoots you. Yep, it's definitely shooting us. I don't think we can get up here either. Okay, so we're going to have to attach a weapon. So let's get rid of this. We're going to attach some weapon here to destroy this thing. Got to build high. I'm actually going to take the whole machine and build it lower. It has to be built within this cube, apparently. So, let's make the whole machine. How do you... Make it lower. There. Now it's also not falling when we're... Yeah. It's not falling when we start, so it won't be breaking. All right, back to business here. We'll build, have to get up there in order for the cannon. I just think the cannon will be able to be good enough here. Just build it tall enough. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of recoil, but the cannon only has one shot anyway. Uh, the problem is it's out of bounds. Let's lower this just a drop more. No, lower, thank you. Now is the room for the cannon. Nope. X. We'll add one small block on top. And then we can build a cannon. Ready? Bombs away, baby! <laughs> well, the recoil kind of messed it up and it didn't hit the tower. Where did the cannonball go, though? Hold on, we have to aim it better. Come on, cannonball. Yes! Nailed it! All right, next zone. Next challenge. What is this? All right, so this is the level I have not done. I've didn't done until there. Now uh, is the part where I have to actually try to figure this stuff out. This is called use explosives to destroy 40% of this fort. Okay. Wow, with pleasure. All right, so let's build a little bit more of a sustainable cannon here. So let's just cut all this stuff out. Um, so we're going to attach multiple cannons. You can really put as many cannons as you want, I think. There will be cannon 1, cannon 2, and cannon 3. Um, the cool thing you can do is actually use a key mapper to change which, which button does which. So this will be C. Uh, this one will be V, and this one will be B. So we have three shots, and let's see if that is enough. So we're going to walk up to this thing. I have to not die in my own explosion, so we'll start with C first. What the heck? That didn't do enough. Oh, this thing is really, really strong. I mean, it's not dying. I guess we need explosives, right? The only reason the um, cannon was able to destroy that fort with archers on it is because there was a mine there so we're gonna actually have to get something way more powerful than these cannons apparently so let's get let's see what else is in the weapon arsenal i actually don't know what i'm doing i, I have not completed this level yet we have a flamethrower vacuum block water cannon small torch we have bombs grenade this explodes on impact rocket flaming ball and boulder um, I think we should build a catapult. I think I'm going to, I've never, I've never done this before. It should be theoretically po possible. We can also drill. Well, I don't think I can drill through this building. It said use explosives. Let's go for a catapult right now. So how are we going to build this? I'm going to try to build here. I'm going to do the stronger logs. Uh, let's see what we can do with wheels, locomotion, wheel, cogs, here's a powered cog. I feel like I want to make some kind of pulley system. 
See, you can't shoot. The, this is the thing. These bombs, all these flaming balls, these are all loose. Here, let me show you what happens when you, when you put a bomb. Yeah? And start. This thing is loose. I mean, we can push it up to the... <laughs> we can actually push it up to here. That would be a cheap way of doing it, is pushing up a few bombs and then just shooting them with a cannon. That could work. I want to fling something, though. So we're going to... There is a, a, a holder for these. I, I think there was one. Hold on one sec. I saw a, a cup. There was a cup somewhere. For holding something. Where was it? It was here. It was here. Look at this holder. I feel like we could place one of the bombs in here and fling it somehow. Can we put... Yeah, you can put a bomb in there. Alright, so let's build a catapult. I really want to do it this way. <laughs> I really want to do it this way. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, want to, I want to build a catapult. I just really want to do it. I think that's going to be very useful for a lot of things later. So, how to build a catapult. We have to figure this out. They don't really give you instructions. They just give you these tools here. Hey, is this a wheel armor? Oh, you can armor your wheels? <gasps> I love it. All right. We're doing that just for the hell of it. It's a catapult. we got to be protected. These are flight. You can actually fly in this game. We're not going to work on flying yet. I bet there's going to be some objectives with things you have to shoot there in the air and you actually have to make some kind of flying machine. All right. What do we got? Simple rope and winch. It's going to be here. These are the these are the mechanical parts. We have a spring, a grabber, decupulator to disconnect. I guess that disconnects. Piston, slider, I'm looking for just a hinge. Here's a spinning block. All right, this should work. Hold on. Yeah, that's a spinning block. Ball joint. Hinge. Swivel joint. Uh, I don't see a way of activating the spinning block, though. The contents of this game will make good highlight videos? Maybe. Okay, so here's going to be our catapult. Let's build another one. We're going to build the grabber at the end of this. Before we're... I, I don't... Okay, let's just make it... Let's just make some kind of working catapult, and then we're going to figure out how to actually fire it. I feel like we can maybe just make the... Uh, Okay, where's the where's the where's the um where is the holder? Where did the holder go? It's here. It's under armor for some reason. Okay, we're putting a bomb in here. <laughs> go bomb. Go in. Now we're gonna need some kind of counterweight. So what's gonna be the heaviest thing that we can use as a counterweight here? Spike ball. Grip pad. I want to fling this thing so badly. <laughs> I mean, we could just use a ton of blocks. Here, let's just start... I don't know. Yeah, let's move this back. Move the whole machine back so we can build more counterweighty stuff. Yeah, let's just build some insane... Just, just put a ton of armor on this. Can we attach one more block here? There you go. We do one more. Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, and let's just, like, weigh this down with a bunch of stuff. Just just put, like, a ton of armor. <laughs> I, I know this probably is not the, the most efficient way of, um, of doing this, but I just... I really want to make a catapult. <laughs> so bad. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's see, let's see if our physics worked out here. Oh! <laughs> Once again. There you go! We did it! On our third try! We successfully made a catapult. This thing's still spinning. I don't know why. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Alright. We did it, boys. I don't know why this thing is so unstable and it just explodes sometimes. Sometimes it explodes, sometimes it doesn't. 
Maybe this isn't strong enough here. Let me put replace these with logs. Hold on, this is awesome. Where's where's I think the logs are heavier, but they're but they're stronger. All right, here we go. There you go. We destroyed our own thing. <laughs> Guys, we have a catapult. We have a working catapult. This is called this throwing is for really content. Throwing here for we go. Content. Um. Oh man, we did it, boys. Here, I have to get the um the the donations. Here they're up. Where are they? Right now, it's not. It. I'm looking for the uh. Anyway. Working catapult. Okay, now we just have to make it launch like a lot farther. How would we make it launch further? Why? Well, it's going like, it's like scooping it straight down. I feel like this holder might not be the best option. I think we need something a little bit, where was this, an armor? Maybe like a half pipe would be better? I'll see if this works better. Oh, oh hell yeah, works better. We did it! We did it! The catapult worked! We finished! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Heck yes! Heck yes, we did it! I, I, we need an instant replay. Oh no, that didn't work. Well, how come... Okay, this is not... Okay, the problem is... It's like, it's not in here. Hold on. We need to put the bomb, like, in the actual half. <laughs> here, let's just use a flaming ball instead. That sounds cooler. It's probably not going to explode, though. No, it doesn't let you do that. Can we put the ball in the actual thing? Come on. There. Okay, there we go. No, it's it's not. It's like scooping it down. Oh, there it is. That one worked. <laughs> I'm not really sure why sometimes... It should be the same physics. But it seems like RNG. Sometimes it does it really far. Like, that was a really nice shot. All right, guys. Well, we made a catapult. There's got to be a more efficient way than just armoring the other side. <laughs> got to be something. Some anyway. Probably less weight. I just want to test this a couple more times because this is so cool. I'm guessing less weight is gonna make it go slower, and slower is gonna mean a farther shot. See, the problem is it was going too fast and it was throwing it at the ground. This is gonna be more consistent now. Look at this. Wow, Kobe. This is 100% consistent now. It was actually too much counterweight. Our thing falls apart, but who cares? It's a one-use kit. It's a one-use... We can probably make this not hit. Like, we can probably... Here, I'm gonna... This is the next thing we're gonna do. Instead of this armor on the bottom, we're gonna make it, like, protect so the thing doesn't fall apart. <laughs> you can just dick around with this game. It's fun here. This will make our machine probably not fall... Okay, never mind. Still got the job for That was the best shot. That was actually the best shot. <laughs> How do you make the machine not fall? Oops, I just took off some of the armor from our vehicle. How do you make our machine not fall apart here? I feel like that's the real goal. It's so cool though. All right, next. Uh, all right, destroying 90% of everything. And it's so it's the knights, tents, and cannons. Oh, they're going to be firing cannons at us. Well, if we just use the catapult, I don't think it's going to work. That's so awesome. We're gonna make a catapult that we can actually launch. You know, not immediately, but we're gonna have to abandon the uh, abandon the catapult method for now. We will definitely come back to this though. See, once you have a pro, I don't know if you can save a prototype. Can you? Can I just save this catapult? Hold on one second. Control Z. Build it again. Oh, I can save this. Oh look. Save machine. <laughs> All right, so we have our catapult built. We'll definitely bring that back. Save. Oh, perfect. All right. Now we can start over. And we can load it here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, time to make a death machine. To be able to defeat these troops. <laughs> uh, all right. So, I think... Okay, we're going to have to be heavily armored because we're going to be taking cannon fire. 
Uh, I think just plowing through here and destroying the tents is going to be the way. So let's just make, like, one of our spike machines again. Uh, we'll actually put blades... Let's put heavy blades on this. Um, and maybe just a ton of armor. And hopefully that will be good enough to protect our bases from these cannons. We are protected! Armor, armor. Uh, there you can put a little armor here. Let's put some some wheel uh, wheel armor on again. That was cool. Just because we're taking, we're gonna be taking some heat. You know what I'm saying? I hope that the, this vehicle isn't too heavy right now. Let's see if this is gonna be good enough. And if not, we will add more weapons. Look at the cannons go. Pretty good. See, I don't think we're even gonna go after the cannons. Let's just go after these tents. Uh, and we won. We got them. Yeah, let's go after the cannons this time, just for just for good measure. Oh no. Ow. The first cannon shot. Our our machine is actually falling apart on impact again. Here, we're gonna have to say place it on the ground. It is on the ground though. Yeah. It's falling apart when we when we turn. Hold on, let me see this. There's some design flaw. I feel like turning. Okay, so the problem is this little bit of armor is actually knocking the um is knocking the the wheels off when they turn. So let's just put a little piece of armor instead of the big one. Let's see if this works better. Uh, I think a cannonball actually did that. The machine is, is pretty good. You can actually kill that cannon. You're actually taking only only half the damage now from the... <laughs> that didn't work. Go! Go machine! We're still alive! We can make it. We could make it. Just destroy the tents and you're good. Hey, we actually have... Look at the one on the top. It's actually still moving and it has a saw attached to it. Go! Slice him! It's really hard to control since it's just a, a loose wheel. That one on the top is still functional, though. Here, I think moving backwards is going to be better. Yeah, so it worked. <laughs> anyway, we're going to the next zone. Keep it going. It falls apart if you turn. Yeah, it was the problem was that the plate was hitting into the into the wheels. Anyway, what is this? Destroy 80% of the monument. So I'm guessing the monument is only what's on top. We're gonna need a lot of firepower. I mean, we can try to. Should we break out the catapult again? Okay, we might as well. <laughs> we might as well break out the catapult and see. Go catapult. Okay, it's not even close to far enough. We can maybe make it shoot farther by building a longer arm. Here, we're making modifications to the catapult. We're gonna get rid of all this, because it's too heavy. It's too, it's too like, long on the front. We're gonna move this forward so we can build a longer arm here. Uh, here's a log. I'm guessing these should actually be lighter. We probably don't need them to be that sturdy. It, it falls apart anyway. Let's build a really long arm here. <laughs> For our catapult. Look at this catapult now. Uh, one more. Extremely long arm. Hopefully this, this thing doesn't snap. It doesn't really look that... It doesn't look that, um... <laughs> that stable. But, uh, we'll move the... Here, we'll put the... Half pipe. Seems to be work the best. We'll stick a bomb in here, of course, because that is why we have come here today. Uh, we'll move this back as much as we can. There you go. Oh, it actually snaps up for you. That's really nice. Oh, this is actually... Whoops, I didn't build it right. Hold on. No, it's all wrong. It's all terribly wrong. I have to build this on the spinning block, not on the rest of the machine. Because that would be silly, silly. Here we go. Half pipe. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. Let's just make this into one block now. I think it was a little bit long anyway. Half pipe. Bomb. Guys, we have to win every level using a catapult. That'll be the, 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 the secondary mission for this game. No, that's bad. Bomb, very bad. Go in. There you go. Okay, now we're going to have to build this up to be extremely uh, heavy. 
So we're just going to put a ton of armor on every square inch of this, and we should be good. You need it to be as heavy as possible. I think plating this with armor on all four sides is going to be enough. All right, survey says, catapult 2.0, see what you can do. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Why is that? Why is it falling apart like that? What is the problem? I think this is too flimsy. I think we need the logs in order for this to work. So let's do the logs again. La 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 uh, Okay, now we're good. Take two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kobe! It was so close. What? Is there something wrong with our aim, though? Hold on. And once again, look at the... This catapult is amazing. How come it's not hitting this, though? It seems like there's some invisible ceiling that it's it's hitting hold on let's see again let's get a bird's eye view here it's just going too high in the air so we need it to be a little bit more i think if we move this to the right a little bit that'll be good but it's just not going far enough it's going to it's hitting the top of this though why is this not working it's supposed to explode on impact. It, it looks like it, it's actually going too high. Our catapult's too good, guys. That's the problem. All right, so we're going to... This This is actually way better than the other one. This, this thing is flying. Flying. Let's see if this works, that we uh, just shorten the arm a little bit. Where's our bomb? Oh, there's wind? Even with the wind, though, it's it's hitting the top. It really is. So, where's the half pipe? There we go. It, it's bouncing off something and then hitting and then going down. It's definitely changing tra tra uh, tra trajectory. But you're right. The wind is moving this way. Let's see about this. It's not long enough now. I shortened it too much. So let's just change the end here. The length of this is going to determine, I guess, uh, I'm a physics professor. I'm guessing the length of this is going to determine how far this goes. Hold on. And catapult! No, it's not going far enough now. It's all wrong. All terribly wrong. I, I, I feel like this might be breaking, so we have to just use logs. Once again, we also might be going too fast. It might actually be too much weight. We'll probably, could be taking some weight off of there. We'll help too. I think we just need to land a direct hit on this and it's going to work. But maybe this thing is immune to explosions. It could be that's the, well, I don't know why. It's not even, a, if it was exploding, then that would be the good conclusion. But it just seems like it's not even exploding up there, which is the main problem we have. Come on. Come on. Damn, this bomb is... Finicky. Bomb. Bomb. Go in the, the hole, bomb. Bruh. Come on. Come on. There, there, there. Okay. There we go. What is wrong? What happened to our, our catapult? What the heck is it? Why is it not? It's releasing so late now. What did we change? What did we change here? I feel like if this was lighter, then it was working better if the end was lighter? I don't know why that would make a difference. But now it's a lighter end. Does that go higher now? What What are we doing wrong? I, I feel like this was working perfectly before. We can actually backtrack to see what we were doing before. You can just press Control Z. Where was the old catapult? Where was the one that was really flying? Like, really flying? I think this was it, right? Yep. Uh, it looks like the exact same thing. I don't know why. Isn't this exactly... Like, literally exactly what we what we did? 
so confused. Hold on, this is the one that works. If we press Control Y enough, this is the one that that doesn't work. It's exactly the same. It's literally exactly the same. This is a two brick and this is a one brick. What was it before? Oh, it's it's oh I see what the problem is. It's the direction of the uh the problem it's releasing wait. Oh wait, now it is working. I think it's the way this is this is shaped. I think that's the problem. If it's shaped like this, it goes shorter because it holds on to it longer. Okay, this is I see what the thing is. This goes short. But if we were to remove the the half pipe and make it go the other way, so it's only gripping instead of the front and back, it's going to be gripping the sides now, like that. Then it, then then it works. Pretty sure this is the thing. It needs to grip the sides of the bum, and then it releases it stronger instead of the front and back, because then it kind of clings onto it and it goes short. Come on, bum. Mumbo. Now it works. Okay, so let's make this arm shorter and we're gonna do the, the, the grip the right way. Uh -huh. This is supposed to grip the sides. That's good. Bomb goes in. And voila! Now where is it going? Oh. That was that was close. Hold on, it's going so high, but it's not actually reaching it anymore. What if we were to add more weight here, so it would go faster and theoretically then go further? Maybe. Let's add more weight. Is that enough? Kobe, we're getting close. Bird's eye view. Where exactly is this bomb landing? It's so it's so close. It seems like it's not it's not exploding when it makes impact with the monument. It has to hit the ground. Yeah, it is hitting the monument. Just to be clear here. Kobe? It's there's like an invisible wall it's hitting. All right, it looks like we're, a bomb is not going to be the way to do this, unfortunately. Because it's it's making contact with something, but it's, I don't know. Is it just missing? It's like changing directions in midair. Let's it rotate the machine. You guys are saying it's the wind, so let's rotate the machine like this. Let's see if this helps. No. It's not going even close to the right direction now. You think the wind is the whole thing? It doesn't seem like it's able to make contact with this for some reason. Now it's not going far enough. Okay, so let's, once again, we'll make it go further now, and see if the wind is the problem. Come on. The chat says it's the wind. Nope, that's bad. Very bad. Go in. In. There. I don't, I don't think it's... I mean, okay, here. This is the way we can really see if it's making contact with this thing. Oh, it's not even getting there. Oh, is it just not going far enough? Oh, it looked like it was going to the side, but maybe not. The wind might be the problem. Okay, so we're going to make the arm extra long now. Extra thick. Extra long arm. Just to give this a little bit extra distance. 
It looks like it doesn't like the, the thing being here. It's like too big. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? Maybe more weight. Can we move this forward at all? No. Can you just make a car and drive up there? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, oh I got this, guys. I got this. We're going to add more weight here. More counterweight. And it's going to go further. I think that's how it works. Is that how physics works? Oops. Okay, like this. Now we got a real counterweight. Armor it up. <laughs> it's a little bit overkill. Oh, the, the machine is rotated. Oh, that's why. Rotate back. Rotate back. Uh, can we fit armor on him? Hit. No, rotate a little more. Maybe the wind is just protecting it from anything. Maybe you can't even... I, I'm probably just going in completely the wrong direction here. Anyway, that is a lot of weight. This, this whole arm is probably just going to fall off because it weighs too much. But okay, let's see what happens now. If this doesn't work, we're going to abandon this and maybe try a completely different method. But you need to win every level with the catapult. Where is it go? It's like not, it can't. Look at the Okay, I don't know if it works. Look at the tra trajectory. I wish it, the camera would stay. Can we make the camera not be moving so much? Wait, no bad. No bad. It's not going far enough. this wind is just making e and nothing be able to pass through like for real all right i think it's time to abandon this method this is a really good catapult so we'll save this as catapult number two love to see it um let's try making some cannons and stuff and see if we can blast through this a little bit. If we're shooting cannonballs at this and it doesn't work, then we know that uh, the, the wind is gonna is, is actually a, a real barrier here. So let's move this here. What is the problem? Let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so what I want to do is build a really tall sort of stable machine with cannons on the top. Okay, let's just try driving up here and see what happens, yeah? Since the chat's saying, hey, Fry, why don't you just drive up? Okay, we can get up this... Well... Well... It's possible without drag we could actually get up here. You know what? If we had a little bit more of an elevated machine with the wheels lower, I think this could work. We can try it. Let's change the way this looks. There's probably a lot of ways of completing all these levels. Um, but we'll make like the wood like this. We'll make the, the, the wheels extend below everything else. I hope these little wood beams we're doing are not going to be the problem here. I feel like I'm in a mechanic shop, like, looking underneath the car. Uh, we're gonna put some hinges. Hearing hinges here. We're putting the, everything, like, low now. And we'll put our four wheels on this. And see how it goes. And go! Uh, something's backwards. 
It's okay. Maybe the machine has to just be thinner. make a nice sleek thin machine that can drive up this thing. <laughs> should we make bets for this game? We should be making bets. This level's tough. The catapult didn't work. We are sleeking up this whole machine here. Gonna make a nice little race car. It doesn't need to really to be strong, it just needs to be fast and light and and skinny. It's gonna be like this. I feel like these two blocks can go. And we're just gonna build one block down here. Hopefully this thing can balance, right? Now this goes here. Then we build hinges. Yep. This is supposed to go forward. And we build wheels. Four wheels. The right amount. Forward. Oh, this is the problem here. Yep. Nice little race car we got going on. That's supposed to be going forward, right? And forward. They're all facing forward. No, wait, these yeah, these are facing forward. Alright, here we go. Race car time. These, one of these hinges are the wrong way. The steering hinges. I don't really know why. Here we go. Here. Is that supposed to be facing backwards? I don't really get it. Like, I guess it's like that. And a wheel, and we're good to go. Let's go. Can we... Can we? It's the wrong. They're both the wrong way. Hold on one second. This is supposed to be going forward. And this is supposed to be going backwards? I don't really get it. But. Okay, now the car works. Can we climb this thing? With our thin little stealth vehicle. Looks like we can. I just gotta work on the driving skills. Once again. Let's do this carefully. These sheep are just... Sorry sheep. You're in my way. Uh, that last hill is gonna be really hard to get up unless we build a, like a literal motorcycle. We have to make this thinner to fit one up one staircase. Uh, come on! Ooh, we made it! Okay, so if we attach a big spike to the top, what are we doing? Okay, let's attach a cannon. <laughs> let's see how this goes. We're gonna shoot this thing. I don't know how much it says destroy 80%, so obviously this thing's not going to be that easy to just destroy. One does not simply destroy the harp of, I don't know, of herpes. And, wait, no, bad, 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 bad. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. I don't think this, I don't think the cannon's going to be enough, though. 
No, go back. Go back. Go, go back. This, this is way harder than it looks. This, this car is so unstable. It's little car. I love little car. We can probably make it even smaller, right? No, probably not. It's medieval motorcycle. All right, that's close enough. Cannonball. God damn it. Go right up to it. Cannonball. It doesn't do anything. We need explosives. Maybe we can use a flamethrower. And... And... <laughs> Come on. Yeah, let's use a flamethrower instead. That'll probably work way better. Wait. We gotta build a block for this to be mounted on. Go flamethrower! It's a medieval flamethrower. There you go. You press Y to activate this. Why? Here we go. Blow it up. I don't think we're close enough. We're burning it. I think that's hitting. <laughs> Maybe we have to set this entire thing, the whole hill on fire. Maybe that's the way. If we burn the hill. How do we kill the harp, though? Here, let's burn this hill on fire and see if the fire spreads enough. And it burns the harp. That didn't work. We're going to have to go to the explosive method, guys. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so hard to get up and stay up, though. There we go. Well, it doesn't look like the... Okay, there you go. There you go. It's burning. This is definitely hitting. We're making contact, and it's not dying. <laughs> How are we supposed to kill this thing? Okay, so it's definitely not with a flamethrower. Uh, what other weapons do we have? Water cannon. Maybe water will kill it. We have bombs. Remote grenade. Flaming balls. You need to either cut it or make it explode. <sighs> I mean, we can use a drill. Let's use a drill. We have been able to get up there. So, we are going to mount a drill on this bad boy. On this bad boy. We are going to put a... Uh, let's put one block. Then we're attaching a drill. It's so hard to get up and stay up. Fry, Lazarus, shut up. I have no problem in that department. I ensure you. Okay, here we go. Armor. This is just to add some weight to the back of us. Oh, that was pretty bad. There you go. Just so the whole thing doesn't topple over as we're climbing. Okay, we drill it. Drill them up. Oh my gosh, this is so much harder since we're not on balance. This is fine. God damn it. Maybe if we add more weight to the sides, we wouldn't tip as easily. Our center of gravity is just so high. <laughs> here, we need a we need a uh we need some more weight back here. Let's just put some logs. What is this? A brace? A brace between two points? What does this mean? Cool. We need that, but it seems like it could stabilize us a lot. We just need more weight here. There. Should be good now. More weight on the back of this thing. It might have too much weight on the back now. Yeah, we have way too much weight on the back. Let's get rid of one of these logs. Oh, here we go. <sighs> I 
<laughs> we'll get up here eventually. Hold on. <laughs> so much weight on the back. Go. I drilled. You no, know, it's too much still. We'll, we'll cut it to one. Alright, this seems to be actually really well balanced now. Well, not really. God damn it. We're having trouble climbing the hill with this vehicle. <laughs> For a drill. Just trying to power drill it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn it. Man, this level is taking forever. Get up there. <laughs> um, there's probably just an intrinsic problem with the design of this. How do we make us not make a more stable vehicle? Well, well by not being so thin, duh. You think the wind is actually pushing me when I get up there? One second. Oh, let's go slower. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let's see. Is the wind the problem? Not my terrible driving slash engineering skills? Come on, get up there! <laughs> we can't even climb the hill anymore with this completely terrible off-balance machine. It's just so easy to get off balance with this thing, and we can't even make it up with this. Maybe if this top was shorter, this would work. Let's just make it a block shorter and see if that helps. No, it's too much weight now. That still weighs less. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Uh, how would we stabilize this other than just making it wider? I mean, we could make it a little wider. It seemed like the wide one had a much harder time getting up than this nice, sleek motorcycle-like design. Yeah, we just can't get up there, man. <laughs> we need more... Well, we have too much weight on the back, apparently. So let's try it like this. Because we're flipping when we go too steep. So more weight in the front is the way. Need a little bit of counterweight. I thought this drill would be much heavier, but it doesn't seem like it's actually accounting for that much weight. Oh, what was that? Come on. Get up. <laughs> it doesn't want to do it. Just use a remote bomb? What does remote bomb do? We ha we'd have to leave get the bomb there somehow. This bomb doesn't just go. We have a we have ro there's rockets. We can try shooting rockets at it. Okay, we're making a rocket launcher. Screw it. New plan, guys. New plan. It's rocket launcher time. Oh, that's too high. No, see, we're not going to be able to get it high enough. I mean, maybe we can shoot a rocket at it. We'd have to make sort of an it like an incline or something for the rocket to be able to shoot. How do we do this? We can make a steering hinge. What if the steering hinge aimed the rocket? Okay, I actually have an idea here. Yes, we can make it a precise rocket strike so we'll just put two normal wheels on this now normal so normal okay no the well i guess we want to let's 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 we're we're, aim we're facing the right direction yeah so we'll just put two normal wheels on this no that's the wrong way you want it there? Very good. That's fine. We're gonna make a steering hinge. Well, 
Well, let's make this... Can we make this taller? Put that on the ground. Okay, it's going to be a steering hinge here. Which we want to be able to move that way. And then we're going to put one of these... One of these holders. Oh, it's too tall. It is way too tall. Let's get rid of some of this on the bottom here. Since we've given up on our sleek motorcycle design. I think this is going to work. Let's make sure these are all moving in the right direction here. They are. Put some ground. Steering hinge. Basket. The basket has to be facing this way now. And we're putting a rocket inside. I'll show you how this rocket works. I haven't shown you this yet. I did test this out the last time I played. Rocket goes... God damn it, why can't it go in here? How do we hold the rocket? Wait, maybe there's a way to... Grip pad? We need a way to make the rocket not... Not fly too fast. Why can't I put a rocket in here? How do you hold a rocket in this game? God damn it. Flight? Maybe we should fly to it. That would be good. Oh, I got this, guys. I got this. We have our platform. We just put the rocket right on top of here. I don't think it's attached, though. I, don't, I think it's just loose. Just a loose rocket. Yep. Uh, how do we shoot the rocket? That's with T. I mean, unless we just try to time it. <laughs> the, the, it must be there's a force field. I actually got, I actually nailed it with the loose rocket there. Look at this. Look at this trial, guys. The wind. Okay, so we're rotating the machine now. I mean, I, I think the wind is just. What is the problem here? <laughs> Rotate it more. Did we miss to the to, to the left now? We missed to the right, I think. Come on, rocket. Where we need better camera angle. No, it's going too far that way. We actually have a rocket launcher, though. I'm so happy. Look, the wind is the problem. Okay. The wind is deflecting all projectiles from the harp. It has a mystical wind in front. Yes! Okay. <laughs> of all the things we tried on this level, I can't believe that is what worked. It's literally a loose rocket that if you just wait, it, it by the way, it just falls off of the machine if you wait. It's just a loose rocket on top of a steering hinge. So the steering hinge, you gotta like really quickly, <laughs> really quickly aim it up and then activate the rocket. And well, I guess it will work sometime. So you have to aim it up. Go rocket. <laughs> You finished the level! <laughs> Guys, it worked. Goddamn genius. No, that's too high. No, that's too low. It's very precise, okay? <laughs> we made a goddamn rocket launcher. I'm so proud of this, too. Alright, we're saving this as rocket launcher. <laughs> Someday we're going to figure out how to actually hold the rocket stable and aim it precisely and then do it. That's going to be for a different day. What time is it? Okay, I think we have time for one more level. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have the stream delay on. Sorry, I didn't get rid of it. It says destroy 50% of just this tower. I think I have just the thing. It's called rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if this tower is just this part or if it's the whole fort. We're, we're going to find out. 
it'll tell us what percent that we do. So we're going to try rocket launcher for this. Nope. That. It's, I think we're off to the side a little bit here. Yeah, we're not. We've got to face directly at the tower. Look, they have all these knights protecting it, too. It's just going to be a quick shot. That didn't work. Oh, you have to press T a second time for it to explode. Wait. Why is it not exploding? That was cool. We got like 20% of it there. Uh, it's going through, which is awesome. I think we're gonna have to whip out the catapult for this. Why is why is the uh, the rocket not exploding though? If you press the launch button a second time, it explodes. Rocket launcher OP, guys! Rocket launcher OP. This is the solution to every problem. Is it got? Let's do it again here. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what's happening here. Wait. Oh no. I think it. Well, maybe it's just a certain amount of time that makes it explode. Yeah, it's on a timer. I wonder if there's a way to actually configure this. Wait, no. Don't don't revolve things. Erase blocks. It's on a timer, and we got lucky that it, like, stayed inside for a long enough time. Is there replays in this game? It, like, has to stay inside and then explode while it's inside or something. That one didn't work. I don't know how we got it. We're only getting 30% of this for now. I bet the catapult could work on this, too. The catapult will probably just work better. I'm sorry. I'm not aiming right. The aim the aim is <laughs> aiming this rocket <laughs> since it's not actually attached to the machine in any way, shape, or form. You basically gotta get lucky that the rocket penetrates it and then stays inside and explodes while it's inside. Go inside. Uh <laughs> I don't really know. I don't, I, we can't really duplicate okay here guys, we gotta break out. We gotta break out the catapult. Uh I think Catapult number... Well, I think catapult number one will work for this because it's a little bit shorter range. Who the heck is calling me? Oh, this is the guy who's supposed to fix my computer. Should I answer this? No, oh, I'll call him back. All right. Go catapult. Boom. Easy. <laughs> we have these death machines that are just so good for everything. Man, the catapult was way easier. All right, one more level. <laughs> this is the kind of game where you're just like, okay, one more level. It says pine and lumber site. It says hint grabber. So what are we supposed to do? Oh, steal and deliver one pile of wood. I didn't actually save my grabber machine from before. Um, we're gonna have to make. We should make a work vehicle and then just save it, cause coolness. So it's not. We're not gonna be able to drive. The thing is, we're not gonna be able to drive up here. So we're gonna have to like. Well, this shouldn't be that hard. Let's take a. We're gonna use the piston, cause pistons are awesome. The piston goes here. Uh, we're going to attach a grabber to it. Because hint grabber. This should be really easy. Uh, piston is activated with H. And grabber is with B. H, H, H. Okay, so we'll go here. We will grab some wood. This level's not as cool. Okay, we grab V. We are attached. Now we're going to drive right over here. Press H. It's not tall enough. Can we make uh, the piston go higher? I want to make it go higher. Come on. You can get up there. Maybe if we drive up this, this slope, we can make it. Can we drive up here? I think we can. Here, elevate this so we can actually get up here. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, what if we... 
There we go. And we'll reattach it. And then... <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Come on. Go! Get up there! Yes! Brute force! Can we make a double... I think we can probably make a double piston. Hold on. That's gonna be way cooler. Guys, we're going for the double piston. Yes! This is, this is perfect. And the grabber just goes here now. And both of these pistons are going to be attached to the same button. It's, they're both going to be H. <gasps> Guys, we made the double piston. Double piston. So good. Can we? I hope we're not too high to grab this. No, we can grab anything. Grabbers are invincible. Oh, no, wait. Ungrab that. We need, like... <laughs> we need the corner. Wait. Nope. Nope. Okay. Grab. No, grab. Nope. Okay, now grab. What the hell? Okay, now it's grabbed. Get over here. Now we're gonna raise it up. Double. Oh my god, it's so good. Double piston. Double piston value. It's kind of slouching though. Yes! Yes! We can actually make triple piston too. Pistons are awesome. Pistons are the best. Alright guys, I think we're gonna have to call it there. That was fun! What is this next level even going to be? Kill 80% of all sheep? I feel so bad. What? It, this doesn't even look like it's going to be difficult. I wonder, I don't know what the challenge is going to be here. It looks like you just have to, okay, the, the, the sheep up here are going to be, you have to need, get something that can climb this hill easily. So we'll have to be, uh, get, improve our, our engineering skills in order to do that next time. This was fun! This was fun! <laughs> Uh, the main thing I'm going to have to edit is the level with the harp, and because that one took way too long. But I think cutting out a lot of the process and only doing the trials for that and the rest of this is going to be a wrap. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section. But I do want to put this on YouTube because I love this game, and I want to play this again. I very, very much want to do this level where we kill 80% of the sheep. So hell yeah. Oh my gosh, we could use a flamethrower on the sheep. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. You can use a piston and put a flamethrower on the piston in order to reach higher. That would be good. I love pistons so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. That was Besiege or Besiege. I don't know how you say it. Alright, that was fun. Peace. Let's try.